Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. So, let's see what's going on with you. Hmm. Okay, so you could be leaving a third party situation here, or kind of taking things more serious with someone where it might have been more fun and lighthearted at first, but now you're kind of like, I want something more serious. You could also be wondering if this person is seeing someone else. So we have the Sun card here. You definitely make this person very happy. I think they feel generally pretty good about your connection. Um, but they could have realized here that there was something that was unfair to you or to them. Like the truth about this was illuminated to them in some way. And they made a kind of judgment call. We'll see what it's about here. They made some kind of judgment call about you in this situation where things were unfair uh, so they realized they made a judgment call and it looks like they really want to see this grow with you they don't want this to be something really casual um, and I think for a while maybe they would be like just a little bit less mature than they are now. I don't think this was too long ago in the past, but they're just a little bit less mature and they're kind of realizing now, I want something that I can watch grow with someone, if that makes sense. Um, and it's not necessarily that they didn't want that entirely before, but they just weren't as focused on it as they are now. But clarifying judgment, we have the King of Cups, so they realize you know, I have these very strong feelings for this person here. Like, as much as I can love someone, I love this person. So, they could be realizing, you know, if I have such strong love for someone, I do want it to perhaps, I want to put the work and I want to try. I don't want to take that lightly. Hmm. This could also be, for some people, you could realize how much love you have to give to someone and that if someone's not taking you seriously or they're not communicating with you effectively, they're not putting the work in to make it grow, you could realize, you know, I have a lot to give and I should be with someone who will return that to me, if that makes sense. Because we have let go here, walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. So, it definitely looks like you or this person is kind of letting go, walking away from this type of, um, it could be some kind of like indulgent behavior, it could be some kind of group situation with some people that just is kind of negative for you, it, it could be fun, but overall it's had a negative impact on you, so you could just be kind of letting go of this some kind of immaturity here or some kind of situation that just feels like it was like you're like you've moved past it you know what I mean and you could have realized you know this hasn't really gone anywhere like it could have seemed like it was going good going well but you're like it really didn't get anywhere so I'm I have all this love to give it could be you that's the king of cups you're like that should be put to a place that makes more sense we also have body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Hmm. So this could be you or this person. You could really like to give massages. You could be an energy healer. You could be a masseuse. Um, something to do with the body here. This could also be to remember to Remember to just take at least a little bit of time a day to stretch, focus on your body, exercise if you haven't been exercising, like just do a little bit. If you if you really don't want to go to the gym, if you don't have the motivation, just like do something really quick to just get your blood flowing a little bit, if that makes sense. And this could help you to let go of some things that are still, apparently, this is what I think someone told me, I think it was my mom, she said like, trauma is stored in the body and that's like physical hurt but also some kind of stresses and stuff that you've had some kind of like pains and stuff it can show up in like your body and your energy so you have to make sure you like stretch and move 
Because stress and stuff, you know, you can feel it sometimes in your chest, on your back, whatever. So, yeah, that, that can help you to let go of some things that are still in your energy or in your body. So, I think it's really important for you to have some time to rest. You or this person could be overworking yourself. We have rest and rejuvenate in reverse. Um, I think it's important that you, for a lot of Capricorns, that you take care of your body. Not that you aren't, I'm not saying that you aren't, but if you haven't eaten any fruit the past week, like eat some fruit, eat some vegetables, jump around, dance, do whatever, just like move, you know? So, yeah, someone doesn't, like whatever the situation was here, you could still be slightly involved in it, but it just felt like it was going in circles, like it wasn't progressing at all. We have round and round in reverse, and someone's just sick of that. Like, it could have been that they wanted to see things take a different direction, but it would just go in a circle, so they're just like, you could just need some time to rest from this cycle that you were in. You could be ending some kind of cycle of behaviors that you've recognized now, and just have patience with yourself as well. If it does take some time to, like, let go of things or to to move into a different place in your life where you're not repeating these same type of mistakes if you don't get it on the first try like don't lose hope that you could ever change or that you could stop this behavior if or stopping around these people you know if there's something negative just have patience with that because it's not going to be immediate always you know it just takes some time and don't feel bad about it you know if you if you uh go back into a little bit, it's like, okay, at least you're focused on trying to move out of this cycle, you know? That's that's the important part. So, we have precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. So it could have felt like this was just kind of a situation that was wasting your time. Like, it felt like this person was perhaps intentionally wasting your time. And also, this is important to just focus on other things maybe going on, this or that, but just try to be as much as you can. You, it's pretty much impossible to always do this, but use your time as wisely as you can. And that includes resting and rejuvenating and taking care of your body. So a very important way to spend your time. So we have shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within. And it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. And this kind of reminds me of the sun card here, how this person really sees you as very bright and not just on like a surface level. They really see that you have these qualities, these traits within you that are very beautiful. Like perhaps you're someone who's very generous, perhaps you're someone who's very kind or forgiving or patient, these things. And this helps you to shine with, from within. People see that. You know? It's appreciated. So accept like accept those positive aspects of yourself and if you felt like you were giving a lot to this situation or you're putting a lot of time into this situation that wasn't like good for you or felt like you're repeating it, um, just accept, you know, it's a good thing that I have a lot of energy to give to people because that means that you give a lot of energy to yourself. The love and, apparently, anyways, the love and, like, energy, attention, affection that you give to other people, you're only capable of doing that if you give that same amount to yourself. That comes from being able to give that to yourself, if that makes sense. So, so don't feel bad if you're like, oh, I, I was... I was just waiting for this to grow and nothing happened. That just means you have patience. You have patience with yourself. You have patience with other people and situations. So, um, yeah, just don't like, don't judge yourself for your good qualities, but know when it's time to move on as well, if that makes sense. So we have, would you give me another chance? This could be this person who made this judgment call here about maybe that they weren't, um, They could have felt like, you know, I didn't really put what I could into this situation. I want like, another chance here with you. And you could be like wondering if giving this person another chance would be a waste of time. Like you don't want to just go back into the same thing again. So you also have, I'm sick of faking and wearing a mask. 
could be this person who is just a little bit like they're a little more mature than they were like maybe a couple months ago maybe like a year or two ago and they realized that this immaturity just wasn't good for them but they just I think this person didn't recognize this immaturity in themselves yet it just sometimes like all of a sudden things just come to your awareness about yourself or about other people and it's like you kind of realized it but it didn't really like oh you know some kind of epiphanies and sometimes you'll have an epiphany or you'll realize you'll think about it but it's not really like cemented in you so I think this person kind of realized now the way that they were and even on some level they were aware of it before but now they're like truly realizing it on a deeper level I guess so this person wants to see you I think they're really hoping that you'll be patient with them because they have all this love for you but you could be just kind of wanting to let this go for now at least hmm. this person does care you do make them happy but it sucks unfortunately sometimes people's ways or whatever or their what they're involved in just gets in the way so if you if you do want to see this person be patient um, and yeah make sure that this it's not going to be a waste of your time again if they do come and ask you for another chance alright so thank you Capricorn that's all I have to say to you I hope that this helps somehow I hope that this resonated Hope that you're safe and healthy and that your family is safe and healthy and I hope that you have a good day or night.